I'm Bruce Meyer with Rubber and Plastics News at the 2012 International Rubber Expo in Cincinnati. I'm here with Joe Walker from Freudenberg NOK Sealing Technologies and the chairman of this year's rubber division. Joe, so how far, how has your year as chairman been so far and how is this uh, expo going? Well, it's been a, it's been a whirlwind year. Uh, the expo uh, is, is doing fabulous. It's a, it's a record expo. We've got uh, well over 2,000 people that have attended. Um, we have some uh, outstanding programs that are attracting uh, a lot of people to our educational symposiums and our, our technical papers. Uh, so the Expo uh, is, by all accounts, uh, an extremely uh, successful meeting so far. Okay. How is, with fewer people being in the rubber industry, is it becoming more difficult to recruit volunteers to spend time uh, volunteering for the rubber division? Yes, uh, that, is, that is a challenge. Uh, it's a challenge on two fronts. The first front is there are less people in the rubber industry to attract to volunteer. Uh, and the other thing is that uh, people that are in the rubber division are very, very busy. And uh, they wear uh, multiple hats. And uh, as a result of, uh, of that, uh, uh, sometimes the companies find it difficult to afford the time mm -hmm. uh, that uh, we need to uh, be able to uh, uh, let their people volunteer for our committees and, uh, and the like. So uh, it, it does have a commitment uh, to, the, uh, uh, to the division by the companies. And uh, uh, we just recently changed. It used to be a seven year to, to work through the chairs. Uh, and now we've recently changed that to make it easier on the companies, really, and we've shortened that down to five years. So uh, we can start uh, going through the chairs and the officer positions and uh, up through the chairmanship now in five years as opposed to previously uh, seven years. But not everybody wants to be chairman, mm -hmm. right? So we have a, a lot of committees such as uh, the program planning committee that looks at the technical papers and the education committee is a is a core committee for us they're the ones that decide what kind of class and course offerings that we have uh, uh, that our that our, uh, our membership wants to and that's really one of the things that we draw on to try and pull people in is those uh, that kind of uh, educational offerings uh, that we have. At the end of the day, we are an educational uh, organization as well. And you're taking measures to try to get younger people involved in the rubber division as well? Yes, we have a student affairs committee uh, that we have, so we're constantly trying to get uh, more student chapters, more rubber uh, student rubber group chapters that are uh, that are coming online. Uh, and uh, you know what what I think we probably need to do a little more and really the national division uh, the the ACS has a uh, has a has a group that that is uh, uh, effectively doing this we're trying to get uh, more interest in our uh, technology and in our uh, science uh, at the uh, elementary junior high and high school levels uh, with some of the course offerings that we have. So when it comes time for the kids to choose, uh, you know, in those junior and senior high school levels, you know, what is the industry that I'm going to go into? What is the education that I'm needing? That um, we've planted that, that seed and it's, uh, and, and, and it's growing uh, and they choose to go into the industry. All right. Well, thank you. And I'm Bruce Meyer with Rubber and Plastics News. Thanks for watching.